So, you remember that the triplets have like a dinosaur pet. Violet has her T-Rex, because a T-Rex is a perfectly, oh hold on, his jaw's a bit, let's fix your jaw up, there we go. A T-Rex is a perfectly reasonable pet for uh, triplet toddlers. But, uh, but she's not alone because Alex has actually got this blue indefinable dinosaur from the Lego Movie 2. Don't know what breed that is, but it's... <laughs> Violet, can you keep that T-Rex under control, please? But, so they've both got their own dinosaurs. Today it is time for Harry to get his dinosaur, which means, welcome to LEV Toys, we are going to build this set, which basically I just got because I wanted the Triceratops. Because why would you not want a Lego Triceratops? Isn't that just like the coolest thing ever? So we're gonna build this and then Alex w will have his dinosaur and all of the triplets will have their own, what is that box? Oh, their own dedicated dinosaur. So we've got these wibbly things. We've got a sheet of stickers, got uh, the instruction book, which is very important. And here's our dinosaur. We've got three bags, but oh, I can't stop ignoring the elephant in the room. What is in this box? Oh, it's the Triceratops head! Oh, that keeps it, that's so snug in there. That keeps the Triceratops head with all these little rubbery horns very, very safe. So look at that, Harry is just super duper over the moon to have a Triceratops, but we need to assemble this Triceratops because they don't come pre-assembled. <laughs> Triceratops, some assembly required. So this, we've got two different size legs. So I'm gonna assume logically the back leg is the bigger one. That's good, proportionally he looks quite good there. I love this Triceratops, this is so awesome. I think we got all the legs in the right place. So now our Triceratops is assembled and oh, Harry is being eaten. Well, Triceratops is a herbivores, right? So he should be okay not to get eaten, but he could possibly get trampled by the Triceratops. But I don't think he cares about that. Actually, I've quite, I've noticed that these triplets are fearless, uh, which is not always the best way to be. Let's put him up here. I've seen no sign of their parents. I have no idea where Sophie and Henry are at the moment. <laughs> do they know that their children are out playing with dinosaurs? Hmm, do you know where your children are? Well, okay, maybe they don't. Let's start, actually I'm pretty sure they don't. Let's start putting together the minifigures that come in the actual set. There's this girl or lady here. I think she's a girl, I'm not quite sure, in a pink top and she is looking quite surprised at the moment. Possibly surprised because she's got a chocolate ice cream and yet she's hanging around with dinosaurs. Oh no, is it gonna eat me? No, it just wants your mm, delicious chocolate top. <laughs> See, the dinosaur's perfectly safe. So now she's got her super smiley face on because, well, actually she shouldn't be that happy because she just lost her, lost her ice cream. But I suppose it's better than getting eaten by a dinosaur. Speaking of which, okay, let's keep this T-Rex under control and let's meet the next minifigure in this set, which is Owen Grady. Is that Owen Grady? Owen Grady? He's got two grump... No, he's got this face. He needs a shave. Uh, let's see if his hair... Yep, we can get his hair to line up with his sideburns, which is nice. And he has got a carrot. A <laughs> carrot on a stick, like he used for donkeys to lead them along, except in this case... The carrot is to help entice the Triceratops to go wherever you want him to go. But the Triceratops has got ice cream, so he's not interested in your carrot at all. <laughs> okay, oh, hold on, the T-Rex doesn't eat. Mm. Okay, they don't eat carrots. Might just be trying to coax Owen to come closer so he can eat Owen. Let's put Owen out of the way and start the first part of the build. Well, we've already done the first part of the build, the best part, the Triceratops, but don't go away. Don't leave me because we've got to build the set and see what the actual scene is. And then the triplets could hang out in it for a bit with, <laughs> with their dinosaur mates. Do you want a dinosaur for a pet? Would that be safe? I don't think that'd be very safe. It's cool. It's a cool idea in theory, but I, I just don't, I mean, they would eat so much. Okay, I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. This does not actually fit the triplets, even though I've shorted their, shorted, shortened their legs. So, but they're still not quite as short in the legs as minifigures are. So unfortunately, this is not gonna actually fit any of the triplets without me doing a little bit of modifying. But, uh, but I can do that, I can do that, but probably not today. Let's get it built as per the instructions. We'll get, Owen can hang out in here and then he can he can use this he can use this to drive around with his carrot his carrot bribe okay good we've got a steering wheely thing on here we've got got the walkie talkie and <laughs> a spanner which is going to be very useful there we go now he's got the triceratops attention and it's really cool that that carrot actually fits into <laughs> the 
mouth of the Triceratops. Uh, okay. All right. So next part of the build, we've already got the little buggy for for dinosaur feeding purposes. I'm not certain what we have got yet. So more building will make this all clear. We've got some a little clip on the end, and on this little circle piece here. I have no idea. We've got some nice bits of foliage though, so that we can kind of denote that we are in the jungle. In Jurassic World, in the park, the theme park, because it's such a sensible idea to, to put dinosaurs behind bars and have people come and look at them, because they would love that so much. So we've got an interesting upright there. We've got another one which is a little bit longer out of Technique pieces, and I haven't put that on properly because Oh, there's another technique piece here hiding around the back, which I hadn't noticed. So we got one fixed long piece here and one that moves. And then we put our wibbly pieces on here, which make the wires, the wires to, oh, but, the, but it actually collapses down. That's really cool. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's awesome. So that's why it's the Triceratops Rampage, because he can actually escape. But it's going to be electrified. So it's got a sign, oh, hold on, it's got a sign for electrification warning you not to lick, <laughs> lick that. Because uh, when it's on, when the green light's on, it'll be electrified like that. But when it's red, it's fine. You can touch it as much as you want. That must be why the Triceratops escapes, because it had been turned off. Though I do wonder how much voltage, how much electrical voltage you would need to actually be able to stop a dinosaur from escaping if it really wanted to escape. So let me see what we are building here. We've got some more upright technique pieces. It's like we're making, are we making another, it looks like another part of the enclosure. So this is, these ones have got fixed bars on them. They don't have those wobbly bits. So this might be slightly more secure. <laughs> oh, that's cool how it goes into those technique pieces like that. That's really, really cool. All right. Now these I've missed something off. So it's not quite the right height because I missed I missed this piece off. So now it should all fit in very nicely. It does. That's nice. And we've got a sign here because this is the Triceratops enclosure. So a bit of information about your Triceratops for all those tourists who are coming to peer at the Triceratops in his enclosure. Okay, we're up to bag number two. Let's see. There are actually quite a lot of minifigures in this set. So the next one here, is it a boy or a girl? It's a guy. So this must be Simon. Yeah, Simon Maserani. And he has got his happy face forward at the moment because we are currently living in everything with happy and join us because no catastrophes have happened yet. That can happen later. Right. So what have we got now? We've, it looks like we're building some stonework of some description. There's a clip in the front and we've got a technique piece here to hold probably to hold a sign on so this is okay so this is going to be the front entryway or the big entryway to your jurassic world to our amusement park section here of jurassic world and this is where the egg ride is so we put this on here except oh hold on that's not upright it really does matter how i put that sticker on i need to okay i need to take that off fix it up so that it's actually going up oh, there we go and the back bit turns though i think it's just indicating that the whole thing turns the egg ride thing will turn that this is just the entry bit hmm okay nice okay and we've got of course we need because this is a jurassic world set we need some flaming torches to give it that authentic touch there we go that bit's finished let's see what we have got next Okay, we've got stairs. Is this like stairs to climb up and pat the Triceratops? <gasps> to climb up to get on the top of the Triceratops for Triceratops rides. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. But that's what we could totally use it for. So here we've got a nice big signpost. I know that because it, well, it's full of information because it says info on the top. Here are our signs so we can know exactly where we're going. Gift shop is in that direction. Gyrosphere is on that direction there. I'm having trouble speaking now. And the museum is in the opposite direction. So here's our nice signpost. And that connects here to our other little fencing piece. And looks like we've got another sign. This is not a sign to the toilet like I thought it might be. This is where everybody lines up. Looks identical like that. And a bin. Because it's very important you put your rubbish in the bin. 
very, very important. You don't want to leave litter lying everywhere about. All right, so this is definitely our amusement park section here. Now we get to build the spinny ride, the cool little egg incubator ride. This is so cool. I'm so I'm so keen to see how this all goes together and how it all works, because rides are cool and they have moving functions. And I love moving functions. Can't even say moving functions. I love moving functions. Moving functions. Hmm. And we've got some nice big white columns here to hold it all up at the height. It, well, to hold the top bit up the height it's going to be. A gear piece here. And we've got some more pillar work going, or a big column going up here. We've got a technique piece in the middle, which means we're going to be connecting something into here. But of course we need a Jurassic World sign on here, otherwise we would have no idea where we are, even though there are lots of dinosaurs. obviously going to be the turning part. I've got all of these stickers with stripes on them that I need to make sure they line up so that it, the, the stripes appear to go all the way around as an unbroken stripe, all the way around our, our piece up here on the top of our columns. Oh, I didn't do quite so well with that one. It's all right, you just have to squint a bit at that one. Uh, I've got these pieces left over. Uh, I don't know quite, but this does this go on here? No, it doesn't go on here yet. <laughs> so these belong on the top of our little entryway. There, <laughs> I forgot to put them on. That's all good now. Okay, we're up to bag number three and we're ready to meet the last minifigure. She's got white pants, she's a doctor, and I can tell that by her badge. This is Dr. Alison Miles. She's gonna have her happy face forward too. She's got one of those other faces though. <laughs> yeah, let's put this face forward because she knows that some bad things are gonna happen. Cause seriously, you start playing with genetics and letting people into pat dinosaurs, yeah, it's never gonna end well. So let's see, speaking of not ending well, no, this is totally gonna end well because I wanna know how it has to end well cause we've got a nice fun ride to build. And we've got a gear on the inside there. It's going to connect up with that. So that's gonna have a nice big rod sticking out the side, I think, so we can actually turn it. Is that connected yet? I don't know that it is. I think this part here, all these technique pieces, give me hope that we're gonna start connecting up very, very soon. Okay, so that's actually on the bottom underneath that gear piece, that big blue gear piece, which I thought was going to be the spinny bit. Hmm. So, all right, so it sits on here. Oh, and that's the only bit that spins. The actual blue gear piece doesn't spin at all. It's just there for decoration. Or well, maybe it's not. Oh, I think I know what's happening. Okay, so here we've got our little turny knob, which is going to make things turn soon when we connect them all up. Got to put some more of the pretty prettification bits on the top to make sure it's all nice and finished looking up on the top area. And now this is going to connect in with our other little gear. Now everything is connected. This is cool. This is very cool. I love seeing how these amusement park rides all go together in different ways. All right, I don't know what this is. Is it a giant umbrella? It's not a giant umbrella. Is it a lid for something? It's definitely not one of like the ride carriages. Or is it? No. Could be. You could sit in that. You could, because it's got like these seem to be moving. Uh, moving parts. No, I put them on the wrong spot. So they need to go back there. And this goes on the top. It's like a little lid on. Oh, I get it. All right. Okay. So it's an incubator. It's the egg incubator. And under here we put these cool little tan eggs. How cute is that? So it's the egg incubator for the dinosaur eggs. It's not an actual egg incubator. It's pretending to be an egg incubator. I can't say incubator. Okay. And down here, now we get to have the actual little ride cherry things. We need to make three of these and these are like the little eggs. The little, like it could be little hatched dinosaur eggs. Well, big hatched dinosaur eggs because dinosaur eggs are going to be big depending upon the size of the dinosaur. But these ones are big ones. And if I put all these little spots on right, as per the instructions, it's gonna look really cute. 
There we go, first little ride. There are three of these chairs. Here are two that I've prepared earlier. Well, there's one and they all interconnect. That's what our other blue gear is for. So we need to put these on so that they go into our Technique platform here that we can that we created before. And then it connects into our gear. That's really, those gear pieces are so handy. That's awesome. So they spin around within themselves and spin around as well. <laughs> Makes no sense. I don't think this is going to fit my oh, my toddler mini dolls because they're just that bit too big. They're, they're still going to have a go because they there's no way you were keeping them out of there, even though it's totally not sized for them. I will have to adapt it so that I can fit my mini dolls in here because that looks just like so much fun. There's a clip on here, which means we can attach it to, might be a bit silly to attach it to the enclosure, but that might be where you can attach it if you want to. You can attach it kind of anywhere. So you can put it here, it'd be a great thing to entertain the Triceratops. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, maybe distract the Triceratops from escaping. So now the triplets have each got their own personal dinosaur pets. I'm sure that won't be a problem at all. I mean, I know that they are going to be responsible pet owners and not allow their dinosaurs to eat anybody or rampage or anything. Totally sure. <laughs> okay, now is the time to subscribe. You know it needs to happen. Let me know in the comments what you think might be going to happen with these dinosaurs because I can't imagine it's going to be pretty and I'll be back with another video very, very soon. In the meantime, Harry's got his own Triceratops, so he is very, very excited. <laughs> See you.